Hello YouTube, it's Raphael here from XX Raphael Productions, and if you're using VirtualBox on your MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, or just Mac OS in general, you may come across an error where you try to open up your virtual machine and it just happens to crash. So here is an example of what I'm talking about. So I'm going to go ahead and start the machine up. And if um, before I actually get to the solution, I want to make sure this is the problem you're currently having just so that it looks, um, there we go. So I'm going to start um, Linux Mint right now. And if you are having a problem similar to this, then I can go ahead and proceed to the solution just to make sure that I am going to be able to help you as you proceed in the video. So now you would notice that it will give you a crash report along with saying aborted on the virtual machine. And while these can look a little complicated, the solution itself is actually quite easy. So the way we do this is simply go to whatever virtual machine is crashing and head over to settings. Okay, and then we're going to go to the audio tab, which is the fifth tab right here. And then here in enable audio, you will get these um, other drop down boxes, yada, yada, yada. And the actual way to stop this from crashing is to simply go and disable See how it says enable audio, just Dis disable that by unticking the box and then click OK. And then now let's go ahead and let's see if that fixes the problem. So I'm going to click start again. And let me go right ahead with virtual box. Oops. Oops. Nope. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and start um, Linux Mint again. And let's see if this works now. So it's going to go ahead and um, go lo load up screen and wait perhaps like a few minutes, I guess. So this is the moment where it crashed the last time. Uh, all right, so if you notice, our cursor has actually started to show up. And here we are. So that is it. So now it is working once I disabled the audio. So even if I go ahead and let's say go to start menu, uh, I can use my terminal. And let's, let me go run a few commands just to show you that everything works out. Making me open that up. Okay, so I have config, ls-a, pwd, all the um, typical commands, I guess. Can just do who am I? But anyway, so I hope you get the idea. So basically, I am able to now run this with no problems, with a simple um, fix. So hopefully this video helped you out. Like I said before, I was going to show you the problem so that it will, I would make sure that whoever is watching this video is having the exact same issue because... This might be different for other people, but hopefully this simple trick works. And I will see you guys in my next um, tutorial. Hopefully this video helped you out.